Hello lovely, how are you feeling? Okay, well I'm just letting you know that the surgery went really well, okay? Yeah, so I had a really good look, okay, and everything appeared very normal. All right. Yeah, so I've got no concerns at all. All right. Okay. So the surgery lasted around an hour. Okay. It was quite an intense assessment. Okay. Yeah. But I had a really good look, as I said. I took a few biopsies just to be on the safe side. Okay. But, you know, I'm feeling very positive about it. Okay. So, you come round and the nurses had a bit of a check in recovery. All right. So, you've been brought back here to your room. Okay. Is everything all right in here? Yeah, feeling okay? Okay. Have you managed to have a drink? Good. And what about any food? Okay. Have you managed to go to the toilet yet? Okay. You seem quite alert, so that's good. So you've had some water and a cup of tea, but no food. Okay. Okay. Have you had any pain relief yet? So just paracetamol and you've had some ibuprofen. Okay. And how are you feeling pain wise? Do you feel like you need something stronger? Okay. I might give you some morphine. I'll issue it intravenously. Okay. Um Biopsy results should be in in about 48 hours, okay. Mm -hmm. I will have to keep you in for a minimum of three days. Alright. And then, has the nurse checked your wound? Yeah, okay, that's fine. I have got your notes here, but I do like to ask the patient direct. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to carry out the checks with you. I know the nurse has taken your blood pressure. Okay, but I would like to follow out the checks if that's okay. Yeah, it's quite an invasive operation. So I do like to, yeah, sit down with the patient myself and do the first initial checks. Okay. But everything so far by looking at you seems great. You seem to be functioning well. Okay. What's the pain level? Yeah. Okay. I'll definitely get you some morphine. All right. Need to leave the dressing on the wound and 
one of the nurses will have a look in a little while. Okay. I will have a feel on top of the dressing myself though. Okay. Okay, if you just lie there for me, I will check the wound first, okay? All right. I'm just looking over the abdomen. Yes, there's no leakage, which is great. Okay, I'm just going to have a nice feel around. I'm glad I decided to not do keyhole. I know you've been a lot more pain, but you're okay. Okay. to manipulate the abdomen muscles okay so this will hurt slightly but I will be gentle as possible okay I need to have a feel if I can see and feel any hernias any lumps any swelling or anything like that okay Feeling quite nice. I'm sorry, I know. Like I say, I've had a good look. Plenty of samples. I can still obviously see the lump, but I need the results first. I will obviously get the results while you're here. Okay. If I am concerned by the results, I will obviously carry out the surgery while you're here. Okay. So I will get that done. Don't think I will send you away. And 
let you wait. I will get straight in there. Okay, but I could see around the ovary section that the ovary seemed quite smaller and the tube was quite thin. But I know we saw that on the MRI. Okay, yeah. And the womb itself, as we could see on the MRI, had a little bit of blood vessels wrapping around it. Okay, so it was quite extreme, as we saw on the MRI, but I can't see anything else. I can't see anything showing me that it's anything serious. I know this condition is serious, but I mean anything like cancer or things like that. Okay, so that's a good sign. You haven't got a massive incision. Okay, it's about that big and it's just about there. Okay, and your pubic line. All right, but if I do have to do any other surgery, I will have to probably make a bigger incision. Okay, it is looking likely that I may have to remove it. Okay, I know we had that discussion prior to the operation. Yeah, so how are you feeling about that? Mm, I know it's very difficult. Mm. Okay. Yeah. All right. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I just need to listen to your heart. Just breathe normally for me. Oh, wow, strange. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm, I'm just, uh, don't worry about it. Okay. I can feel that you're full of lots of emotion, lots of pain, emotionally, lots of trauma that needs solving and healing. Mm. Uh, I'm just, I, I don't know, I, I sense it. Are you all right? Yeah. Powerful. Okay. Um, put that in there. Okay, I'm just going to do the blood pressure. Right. Looks good. Sounds great. Doesn't sound great. I don't know why I'm talking about sound. I can't hear it, can I? I can. I can hear your pulse. It's must be late in the day. I'm sorry. Okay. 
to your temperature. You know, I didn't have these sensations during surgery. I don't know why I'm getting them now. Hmm. That's looking good. Okay, just need to have a little look in your eyes. Are you okay? Ooh. It's, a bit, it's a bit cold in here. Oh, goosebumps. Oh. No, I, I think everything's fine. Let me just finish these checks and I may have to go and lie down. Oh, I'm so sorry. Anyway. What the hell would we turn the light on? Oh, my hands are just... Open wide for me. No, I mean your eyes. Okay, good. I'm just going to have a look in your mouth to see how your throat's getting on from the tube. Okay. Is it all for me? Good. Okay. Looks good. A bit red, but that's expected. I can, I can sense the pain, a, a, a pain in your heart. I can see everything that happened to you. You were quite, quite, quite young, wasn't you? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm just you poor thing. Oh dear. So tired. I feel quite drained, you know. Mm. 
Yeah. I do feel very drained. I keep seeing these images. These images from what seem to be your past. I can, I can see you at such a young age. And you're sat there in the corner. Well, anyway, you, you seem to be rocking. Head in your lap, and you just you just sat there sobbing. Nobody's listening. I find it's quite powerful when I touch you. Let me. Can I just? Oh, it's so cold. <sighs> um, quick response. I don't understand it. It wasn't happening a minute ago, and now I'm seeing things and visioning things. You were wearing a red top and blue trousers, and you had no shoes and socks on. You had light brown hair. Two big tears. I don't. I, I, I don't know how I know how I know that. Do I? No. I don't know. I don't know you. I don't know you at all. Um. I. I don't. I don't understand what's happening. I've never ever experienced this before. Maybe I've gained a sixth sense. Maybe I'm psychic. Maybe I can read people's minds or see their past. But why? I mean, that doesn't even happen, does it? Or does it? I don't even know why I'm telling you this, but I'm your doctor, you're my patient, and you seem to be just listening to me and I'm chatting about my life. Well, your life. I'm sorry, I don't mean, I don't mean to freak you out. Please calm down. I can keep this between us. I need to figure out what's happening to me. I need to speak to my friend. Maybe she will have answers. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm really shocked and I've got a headache. I've got a headache. The pain. I feel like buzzing all over me and it's, it's giving me goosebumps Starting to feel normal again. Anyway, let's just write the notes. I really don't know what 
come over me then. I really don't know. And I do apologise for that strange moment. Mm. It's like I have got some kind of connection to you. Now I've done surgery. I don't know if that kind of thing happens before. I don't know whether it has happened before. Maybe I need to Google it. No, I'm really freaked out, actually. I'm a doctor. This does not happen to doctors. It doesn't, does it? I mean, doctors are intelligent and we work hard and we train hard. This kind of thing doesn't happen to doctors. I mean, we're not living in some kind of fantasy, kind of science fiction, kind of weird, kind of horror, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'm dreaming. Ow. I'm d definitely not dreaming. Oh dear. Oh. I don't know. What do you think? If you've ever experienced anything like that before, like visions or... Hmm. I bet you're thinking I'm a bit crazy, aren't you? Don't worry, I'm thinking it too. Maybe I've just worked too hard today. I could have done, couldn't I? I don't know. It's really quite concerning though, isn't it? I mean, who do I tell? I can't see a psychiatrist, they'll probably lock me up. I mean, I suppose, you know, visions happen, don't they? But <sighs> it could just be stupid, but you just said that's exactly the situation that you were in. And I mean, how do you remember that? I'm sure you're too young to remember that. Are you playing tricks on me? Sorry, I didn't mean to accuse you of that. Maybe I need to see a doctor myself. That might be a good idea. I book myself in with a doctor. But if I do that, I'm going to lose my job. I can't lose my job. I mean, what am I going to do? Well, I mean... I don't know. Are you quite interested in this topic? You seem quite fascinated, but, I mean, a part of me feels quite privileged, but I don't really know what I'm privileged about. I mean, this is not normal behaviour, is it? I don't even know why I'm sitting here talking to you, to be honest. I mean, I've worked really hard all day, surgery, and you were my last patient, and things were great, normal. I mean, I feel completely normal now, but I'm really confused. Hmm. It's very strange. Okay. Just need to finish these notes. I'll get the nurse to issue some morphine. Maybe somebody's drugged me. I think I'm, that's being a bit paranoid, isn't it? Yeah. I don't think anybody would do that. I mean, I'm a very well-respected doctor here. You know, I've been here years and the team's great. I don't know. Something's not quite right. But, never mind. I'm sure I'll be fine in a few hours, once I get over the initial shock. Hmm.
are you having negative thoughts right now? I know you are, I can sense it. I feel like I'm being drawn to you. I mean, I know I'm here next to you, but I, I feel like we're connecting. Do you feel that? Surely you feel that connection? I definitely feel a connection to you. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like I can feel your heart beat. It's, I feel kind of an ache, you know, the heartache. I feel, I feel like I can sense that from you. Do you get that? I can feel these negative thoughts floating through your mind. How long have you been experiencing those negative thoughts? You can be totally honest with me. I'm here to help. Mm -hmm. I know. That's a shame. Have you ever had any therapy or any help with it? Mm. <laughs> no, you're definitely not dreaming. You're awake. I, I, well, in a sign dreaming, but I doubt it. When I've slapped myself and clearly I'm still here, so, mm. Yeah, don't worry. Would you like me to get you some therapy? Okay. No one's ever asked you before. Yeah. Have you ever spoke to anybody about it? Hmm. <laughs> Don't worry. What I will do for you, I will put in the report to your doctor, but I will also ask them if you could be referred to your mental health team. Yeah? And... I feel like I will know what to say without you even telling me mm. that you, you feel quite depressed but this was here before your issues you get a lot of anxiety you're holding on to a lot of past trauma you need to release that trauma Yes. You feel abandoned by your family right now and past. Is that right? Okay, if I just jot this down, it will help me write to your doctor. Okay. You are welcome. Honestly, I don't mind. If it wasn't for that weird moment, I wouldn't have been able to help you. <laughs> I feel quite satisfied. Hmm. Oh dear, I'm getting emotional again. Sorry about that. Okay, it's 
so I've updated your notes, okay? But I have wrote here what I think you're suffering with and things like that. Would you read and just let me know if that is correct? Please don't get upset. Okay. <sighs> Strong connection there. Okay, I'll take this away. I take it that is the situation. I'm going to go now, okay? I'm going to get the nurse to come and issue the medication, okay? And she will check everything over in about an hour, okay? Yeah. But I think I need to go and freshen up now and clear my mind a little bit. Yeah, I do. But I want to thank you for listening. I really appreciate it. Oh, you are welcome. I will keep you up to date with everything and I'll let you know straight away the results, but I will be around tomorrow anyway to see you. Okay? Yeah. But can we just keep this to ourselves? Yeah. Thank you, I do appreciate that. <laughs> okay then, my lovely. You take care now. Bye-bye.